was like rendezvous You know what to do Keep your love for me only I get high on you Yeah, you Hi guys! Starting a new vlog, even though today's Sunday Um I really think there's something wrong with my camera I can't tell if I'm in focus Um, the reason, the reason that I haven't vlogged this week is because my camera really is on the verge of breaking. Like, I'm trying not to screw it into tripods as much because it's the bottom piece that's completely cracked. And like, my seat warmer's on, oh my god. Um... It's completely cracked. So when I screw it into a base, <clears throat> the pieces are like, it's almost like a puzzle piece. Like the pieces are literally like falling apart. Uh, so I've like really been trying not to like <sighs> screw it in to different tripods, especially the car tripod for some odd reason. Like I think it's the shortest screw on the tripod top so <laughs> I don't think I'm making sense anyways it's the heart like it's the hardest on the camera itself like it's really wanting to break apart so I am kind of decided on a new camera not 100% I it's either between the Canon G7X or the Sony I can't remember what it's called <laughs> I think it's the Canon G7X yeah um so I'm hoping this week I'll be able to get a new camera, but until then, we are just going to be very, very delicate with it. I'm not going to be screwing it on and screwing it off too much. Um, today, I'm on my way down to go pick up Caitlin, and she doesn't want to be filmed, um, so you probably won't see me vlogging with her much, but I'm going to go pick her up, and then I'm going to go do a, do a Walmart into the dressing room, and she's going to kind of shop around the store and get stuff for her hospital bag so she's very close to delivering um but that's the plan we're going to go to the walmart in new milford which is about 25 minutes from where we live right now there's one closer but the one closer is the danbury one and it's just not a fun time <laughs> just not a good time so we're gonna go to the New Milford one. I'm hoping to be able to find some clothes to try on, some new fall and winter stuff, especially from the Terra Sky, I think the, the brand, Terra Sky brand. You guys have been like telling me, specifically on Snapchat, I've had conversations with you guys and you're like telling me that they have really good stuff for fall. So I'm hoping and praying that my Walmart is carrying that. So that's what I'm gonna go do. My mom was working till one and then she was going to Costco with my dad and Eddie is out on a hike with his friends. So, that is the plan. I'm pulling into Kate's house. Oh my God. We literally live three minutes away from each other. How amazing. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Sorry about that down there. Huh? Oh. Can, can you pass me that? Sure. I'm gonna throw it in the trunk. Okay. So much. Honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw it in the trunk. Do you have a cell phone charger in here? No. Fortunately, I do not. Let me get one. Okay. Oh. Where's your car? Right here. Oh, okay. Drinking a Gatorade because my ass is dehydrated as per usual. I'm trying to get into coconut water. Wow. My, my mom drinks this coconut water and it's actually not bad. The one I've tried is, no, the one I tried, that Vita Loco one is disgusting. I don't like coconut water. But the one I tried yesterday was actually pretty good. Shut my foot in the door. Amazing. You okay? Yes. You look so cute. And I go. Shut up. I do not look cute. Yes, you do. I look disgusting right now. My hair like completely fell the second I walked outside. It's, it's it is disgusting. Felt right? Yeah, you're right. It's like 75 degrees today and humid. And yesterday was like phone, colder. Do you have it? 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry about that. I'm wondering if I should get gas now or in New Milford. Probably be cheaper in New Milford, but I'll make it. I have 27 miles. It's all empty. I must put in the GPS. Ew. I don't know where there's a Starbucks though. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot we were going to Starbucks. Okay. <laughs> we shall go this way. How dare you forget? I know, I don't know. <laughs> but it's still on the way. Because I just hop the highway. Yeah. Just go right, yeah, just, yeah, Brookfield and then get right on. Yeah. Perfect. I know how to get there. You don't need a GPS. You do? Yeah. Look at you. So good with directions. I'm so terrible. I'm literally so terrible directions. Like, if anyone's ever in a car with me, the GPS is always on. To get from like here, it's really embarrassing. I'm so bad. To get from like her house to my house. Literally. And we're two seconds away. <laughs> not literally. I'm not that bad, but yeah. it's intense. Yeah. Sometimes when you leave my house, you have no idea where we're going. Meaning like to Target. I know. I seem to forget. <laughs> You're like, hmm. Because I never know. Where like, should I go? <laughs> I always have to ask her. I'm like, so, which is the right way? <laughs> it's funny, though. It's all good. I have a canker sore on my tongue. I thought, okay, so at the teen, Tell them why. <laughs> at the teen center, I was like really looking at this. My mom had a crystal light packet, and I was like, wow, I wonder what that tastes like on its own. <laughs> so I had the brilliant idea of pouring it on my tongue, and it burned my tongue. Now I have a canker sore. Amazing. The light is so bad, my camera's really going down. Going down. Really? Mm-hmm. Let's get a new one. I don't know. Get one for Christmas. I have to get one sooner than that. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. It's really shitty, but Just don't get that one that I, like, that lady has. Which one does she have? I'm not sure. I always say I'm gonna tell you and then I forget. Is it the Sony or Canon? No, I think it's a Canon. It's probably a Canon G7X. Because I Mark literally II. cannot. <laughs> That's the one I was gonna get. Maybe she has it in a weird setting. So like when I tell you I get so like car sick from it. She must have it in a weird setting because I know so uh, so many other people who have that. And it's good. Yeah, but I do know what you're talking about because there's like a setting. There is. To make it more real. To make it like yeah. Amazing. Are you going to the gas station? Yeah. Okay. Just left Walmart. Did not like any of the stuff in there. <laughs> Hated everything. Hated everything. Like I don't know. I just didn't like it. Like a lot of the stuff. Their sweaters were really, really scratchy, like itchy. Like I'm still itchy <laughs> from the sweaters. Um, just not a good selection. So maybe you guys have a better Walmart and ha have like a better selection, but definitely was not a good time. We we're kind of just sitting here <laughs> recouping. We were in there for what, like a, two, almost there for a while, like an hour and a half. Yeah. So I have to go to my storage unit and pick up my duvet cover because I'm switching it out again because I changed my duvets. Like I changed my underwear literally all the time. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna go pick that up and then head home. I don't know. I think my mom went to Lane Bryant with my aunt. So I don't know what's going on with that, but. Okay guys, so I'm home now. It's about 5.48. Don't mind this chip in the wall right here. <laughs> um, but I never explained to you guys what ended up happening with the puppies. So last vlog you saw that we, my mom was trying to adopt the brown puppy and I really wanted her to adopt the white one whose name was Beethoven. So we were, my mom was like, okay, well, we'll take them both home, foster one of them and see which one is a better fit for our house. So we're like, okay, cool. So Sunday night, so the second that the brown one came off the transport bus, I could tell that he was very lethargic and um, wasn't acting like a normal puppy and we have had like about 15 years ago, we had a puppy, we rescued a puppy from North Shore Animal League in Long Island. What? 15, 15 years ago. Five, three. No, 15 no, no, years ago, five. I would have been 10, you would have been. Six. All right, so maybe 12 years ago. Yeah. 12 years ago. Slip my wrist for three years. <laughs> um, and so we rescued a puppy from North Shore Animal League. He was a little pit bull mix. He was the cutest thing. We named him Parker. And again, he was super lethargic. He wouldn't eat. He, I don't, I think that, I think he had diarrhea. And he ended up having parvo and died. So if you don't know, parvo is like a really terrible, like puppy virus. It's like really bad. Um, it's like, it has like a 90% mortality rate in all puppies if they're not treated. And even treatment is not, their mortality, mortality rate is still pretty high, even if they are treated. So. 
Um, obviously we had him go to the vet and everything and he just died. It was so sad. But, so that puppy, the brown puppy, we were like, you know, he's not acting right. Like I can tell he's sick. He had diarrhea. He had no appetite. He was very like lethargic and didn't really want to play. So we're like, okay, like something's wrong. Something's wrong. Um, we watched him for the next day. We watched him for the next day and then all day Monday he wasn't eating. I made him boiled rice and boiled chicken and some canned um, like baby food sweet potato. <laughs> and um, he still wouldn't eat that. He was throwing up. So we called Ozzy to the rescue and they're like, okay, well we can send him back to another foster mom who was a vet tech. So I was like, okay. So they ended up taking him back um, to be fostered with a vet tech because he was sick. So anyways, they said he didn't have parvo, but he definitely was sick. Um, he got, they went, took him to the vet. He didn't have parvo, but he had like an infection of his paws and his mouth and he was sick, the poor thing. So I ended up bleaching the entire area, the floor, like everything. And we still have the white one whose name was Beethoven and my mom loves him. So we adopted him. His name is now Louie. He's the cutest little thing. He is so playful, so active. Let me show you. He's trying to get away from Eddie right now. Louie! Louie! Hi, baby! He, he, I feel like he got bigger in literally a week. He definitely, definitely did. He did. Definitely. Hi, baby! No, 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 not near Oliver. Hi! No. Eddie, call him. He's so cute, though. Him and Lola love to play. He's so cute. He got so much bigger, like taller. Louie! It's okay, Oliver. Oh, look he loves to play with Lola. I know the girl. Bite fingers. <laughs> Oliver has no patience for the madness. Look. <laughs> Lola has a diaper on because since moving here, they're having a hard time potty training. No, no, no. Louie. It's okay, Papa. Louie. It's okay, Papa. Louie, good boy. Here, boy. Louie. So, that's the deal with that. This is our new little Louie boy. <laughs> no, Oliver. Here, boy. Look who's home. She went to Lane Bryant. What'd you get? I got these pants. Look how cute they are. The bottoms are super cute. Yeah, I, love them. <laughs> I love those. I thought, so cute. Those are so cute. Uh, were they on clearance? They were. They were um, $27 or 50% off. Are they stretchy? Not really. And then I was in Costco today doing shopping and I bought myself a pair of velour, oops, velour pants. Love. With pockets. Love. I was about to buy a pair at Walmart and then I just didn't. I may go back and get them. Yeah, these were only $10. Do they have plus sizes? No. Oh, okay. And then I bought this, which I love. Look how cute. Oh, that is really cute. That's oh my sweater. god, that's so cute. It's like a cardigan? Yeah, look. That's very cute. Love. I think I like it. I'm not sure. I like it. Because you know me in this. Like I like it. Coat. Yeah, I yeah, love that. It's, yeah, it's like a duster. Is, yeah. It doesn't have pockets, though. I like it a lot. But this that was, was on like, clearance, too? This was only 20 bucks. Wow. Maybe I'll have to go back in there and... uh. So I good thought video. it was kind of good. I mean, the sleeves are kind of nice. You know, it's light. I like it. It's cute. Mm -hmm. You know, um, this is the only thing that I'm not sure about. I like that part. Because you know me. Gives it a little extra. Well, yeah, but that's the problem. A little extra might be too much. No, it's not. Love it. So, but yeah, that's what I got. Love. Aunt Diana got some bras and some sweaters and stuff like that. I know. I should have went, but I didn't have the time. <laughs> Okay guys, sorry for this angle. You guys are literally like looking up at me. My camera's like down low, but I am cleaning up my room. Yesterday I sat here and I was like on the floor scrubbing the floor with like a dish brush because there was paint spotter on my floor from when my dad painted my room. So I was like, I gotta get it off. So I was like on the floor scrubbing the floor with a dish brush and this, I freaking, okay. I wanna talk about my favorite cleaner. This smells so good. It's Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day in Honeysuckle. It smells so good. It's like a multi-surface everyday cleaner. It really, it really smells like so good. Mmm. 
it smells so good so I used this all over the floor and I scrubbed my floor I also um, tried to get the stain out of my headboard and for the most part it really did come out let me show you I mean you can still see like a little remnants but it's nothing like it was it was so bad so that's literally all that's left and I watched I watched a YouTube video this woman took hot water like warm water um, Dawn dish soap and rubbing alcohol and in like a spray bottle and she sprayed it all over her headboard and then she took like a, a dry brush and that's exactly what I did I like mix all that together put it in an old Windex bottle that was empty and sprayed it down and then agitated the stain with like a dry like my dish brush basically like that kind of brush and then I blew it dry with my blow dryer and literally the stain is basically gone like you really have to look hard I'm sure the camera's picking it up worse because it picks up shadows and light and dark a lot harsher than like the natural eye would but it worked really well so if you have a stain on your upholstery headboard um things like that try that concoction it was warm water dawn dish soap and rubbing alcohol it really worked so anyways now you can see Lola in the background she's digging I am putting all my stuff away I have laundry I slept in my bed last night with like no sheets and no pillowcases and no duvet cover because I went to the laundromat and washed everything and my I will actually ended up washing like my pillows too like my actual pillows and they were still a little damp by the time it was like bedtime so I figured I would just like run to the dryer again and I just slept with nothing so tonight I'm gonna have fresh clean sheets and I want to give the dogs a bath before bed I don't even know where my phone is but I think it's something like 8 30 here it is yeah it's 8 35 so hoping I can get all this done within the next by 10 o'clock so I can edit this vlog and then yeah are you guys excited for vlogmas by the way it's only two months away isn't that crazy vlogmas is literally two months away so you're gonna look forward to like daily vlogging again um makeup looks insane so that should be so much fun just like cleaning up my makeup but I also am going through this like internal dilemma of like do I keep my hair short or long like I think it looks so cute short but like I was going through old pictures and my hair was so pretty when it was like long and healthy with the tape ins so I don't know what to do I have a full box like a brand new set of tape ins that I have to get installed soon to make a video about and I don't know if I want to cut them this length or keep them long I don't know I asked you guys on Instagram and you all said keep it short but like I really probably should right just a little change I don't know I feel like long hair is so pretty short hair is pretty too but I feel like short hair is more cute I don't know this is just my thinking short hair is more cute like I feel like I look cute with it I don't know who knows I just washed my hair today but it was so humid that it looks straight and I curled it it looks literally straight like I straightened it I freaking curled every piece of hair and it's like already kind of oily at the top because it's so humid but, okay, anyways bed is made not made made but like fresh sheets blankets pillows made they're having a little late night snack <laughs> can someone tell me why all dogs do that on clean sheets what are you doing what are you doing Silly girl. You good? What? She does this every time I change the sheets. What are you doing? What are you doing? guys I am going to call it a night it is 12 35 in the morning both the babies are sleeping one's there one's right there um I just finished editing this vlog so that'll be up the Walmart into the dressing room will most likely be up on Wednesday I think I'm gonna try to stick stick to a Monday Wednesday Friday schedule 
um, I think three videos a week. I go back and forth, but I feel like three videos a week is good because I don't want to overwhelm you guys. At least not to vlog this. Then I'll overwhelm you guys all day long. But, um, yeah. I love you guys all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you soon.